Hi, Keith here with another short video on doing things with PAST. In this one I'm going to look at NMDS, non-metric multi-dimensional scaling. As before I'll use this little set of data here where I've got samples taken just to the south of two of the platforms and control samples taken to the east and west. So these are site 1, these are site 2 and I've got impact and control locations. Okay, I've already copied and pasted the data into PAST and I've also coloured the rows according to impact status and also location. So the blue rows here are for the controls and the ready ones are for the impact and I've used a lighter blue and a pink for the northern sites or the ones that are in the shallower water and the darker deeper colours for the ones that are to the south in the deeper water. Um, I have the transformed variables here for the environmental conditions. I did that transform in the video on using PCA. So if you want to see how to do that, watch the PCA video. And then I've moved those four environmental variables over so that they are right in front of the abundances for the taxa. And as you can see, I have selected all of those variables, all the taxa, plus the four environmental variables. So now let's get on with our NMDS, non-metric multidimensional scaling. Now this is a new option, enter the number of environmental variables. So that's four because the first four columns are environmental. Then we get the message to select the similarity measure and I will select Bray Curtis and then I'll make this graph resize so that we can see it on the screen. Then let's turn on a few options here, row labels, convex hulls, and then lastly I'm going to right click on the graph and change a couple of graph options, point symbols, thick lines, and size 3 symbols. As I said in the other video, I prefer the points to the squares and crosses, and I think those with the larger symbols and the thicker lines make a rather attractive graph. So what have we got here? Um, the convex hull simply puts a sh shape, draws a shape around all of the samples. Now since there's only three samples at each site here, it draws triangles, though they're quite small triangles over here because the samples at the control sites are quite similar and so they end up close together. Um, looking at these, we've got the impact samples over here on this side of the graph, the control samples over on that side, the um, samples for the controls are fairly close together here for both sites, the shallow impact site is separating from the deeper impact site. And Lastly, the, another new feature is the vectors plotted on here. Now these are similar to the vectors that are plotted on a PCA plot, but they're calculated in a different way. What is being done here is that PAST is looking to see how well correlated these are with the axes or coordinates of the graph. So basically hydrocarbons are increasing in this direction as we go across the graph. So we basically interpret this as the same as on a PCA. Um, nutrients this way and depth and sediment that way. So if you compare this graph to one I get from doing a PCA, which I'll do quite quickly here. So just there. Okay. So there's the PCA graph, let's change the options a bit. Um, there's a fairly similar picture 
in here in general to the one we see with the MDS. If I bring it up here, that little set of plots symbols there are fairly similar to that set there, um, but rotated. And again, the interpretation is similar. Points are separating this way on in terms of hydrocarbons and this way in terms of things associated with depth, though that separation appears to be greater for the impact sites than for the control sites. And the fact that we get fairly similar patterns when we just look at the environmental variables or and when we do an ordination that is based just on the biota. Remember the points here, the location of the points here depends just on the ordination of the biota. The fact that we get similar results indicates that the um, environmental variables are or do explain much of what we see happening with the biota. If these two graphs showed very different patterns, that would not be the case. That would indicate that there were things going on that we hadn't measured or monitored. Um, and that is it as far as updated options in the NMDS.